Modern life can be hectic, loud, often more stressful than peaceful. But life's toughest challenges remain the same as they were more than 2,500 years ago, when Buddha taught that daily life carries much pain at every point in history. He started his teachings with the problems first. What kind of problems that we are facing on a daily life? What kind of fear? What kind of difficulties, frustrations? And how can we reduce those harmful experience? We live in a very connected type of, of environment. And society is, is connected via their cell phones, via email. They're always connected with one another. And it's very hard to disengage. And I think it's important to disengage often from society and engage with oneself. And I think what Rinpoche is doing is focused on that. It's about the self-awareness and actually going into nature um, and really focusing on that internal type of spiritual activity. Those teachings are some of what can be learned at a Buddhist retreat soon to be created a couple of hours outside New York City under the close direction of Trungram Gyaltrul Rinpoche. He's the first incarnated Lama to earn a PhD from Harvard. In 2011, Rinpoche oversaw the opening of an important complex at Lumbini in Nepal, the birthplace of Buddha and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The World Center for Peace and Unity is a temple and meditation hall, a place dedicated to learning. Rinpoche worked with great attention to detail and care for the environment, creating one of the first green monasteries in Nepal, complete with solar panels and other natural touches. Similar care has gone into the design of the Milarepa Center in Cragsmoor, New York. Nestled in the Catskill Mountains, the 90-acre site is being built with the natural beauty of the surrounding environment in mind. Philip Cerniglia is the architect. By uh, collecting our centers and grouping our buildings and um, by spreading them out, we were able to keep most of this site intact as it is. Preservation, which echoes Rinpoche's philosophy of tranquility and peace and ecology. Everything we do has ecology in mind. Another part of mindfulness at the Miller Repa Center, the neighbors. They're very much looking forward to having them here. I think they're going to create a very positive energy in the community. I've known them for nine years, and I respect very much what they're doing, and I like the energy that they're bringing. I think it will be a harmonious merging of the, um, the new center with the environment and the community here in Cragsmoor. And something that can help the community of New York as well. That's a great thing. The fact that it doesn't discriminate with religion or race or anything like that, and anybody can come, you know, and find their inner peace, that's a wonderful thing. People who have spent time with Rinpoche talk about the benefits his teachings can bring. I'm able to uh, be more naturally helpful to others. I, I feel like that I'm able to put myself in other people's shoes, particularly being able to take a feeling of anger that might come up and reverse it to, to where I'm actually able to see the other person's point of view. And um, that's been very helpful in, in my interactions with others and just being an all around more helpful person to people. Professor John McCransky helped Rinpoche work on his PhD at Harvard. The individuals uh, have benefited a lot from the application of different forms of meditation, mindfulness, compassion training, uh, stability of attention training, and so forth, the kinds of suffering that many people are going through. Professor McCransky says Rinpoche brings another benefit. The real power benefit comes from uh, ongoing contact with people who are highly trained in the kinds of knowledge and contemplative discipline or meditation forms which takes years and years and years of training and deepening and ultimately coming to a place of really deep profound groundedness in the fundamental understandings and mode of experience and way of being that Buddhism makes possible. Rinpoche is one of those highly trained deeply grounded teachers from the heart of Tibetan Buddhist tradition. I think what will be valuable will be the deep wisdom and knowledge that Rinpoche has of the ancient tradition from which he comes. 
the understanding of the mind, oh, yeah, yeah. the understanding of compassion, the understanding of the interconnectedness and interdependence of all life. I think these are some of the teachings that Rinpoche shares, and they will be incredibly valuable for the Western audience, for the American audience. The Miller Epicenter is a place of peacefulness, stillness. It's a place where people can do meditation, do retreat, you can have seminars, so people can learn these messages, the teachings that Buddha gave and experience it. The center in New York, it's for spiritual renewal, it's for wellness, it's for positive change. Uh, so it's a place where they can learn a lot of things. Love and compassion are two lessons, but the teachings go further. Not only know about the loving kindness, but how can you have it? How can you develop it? within yourself. There will be a lot of steps, step-by-step -step guidance so that people can develop. They can strengthen their love and compassion. Buddha's teachings are not complicated. It's about just life and how to face with the problems, how to solve, how to live better. That is his message. And he talks about love, he talks about tolerance, compassion, understanding of others' difficulties, and so on. These are his messages. But one very important thing is that he not only talks about uh, love and compassion, but he teaches how to develop that love and compassion. And in the beautiful hills and woods around the Milarepa Center, those teachings resonate. I see this center as being a tremendous opportunity for the coming together of all cultures, which we desperately need. What we desperately need in America is the sense of community and the supporting each other and loving each other and feeling like we're not all alone. I think Americans need Rinpoche's teachings now because uh, we have a danger of being further disconnected from each other because of the development of technology and because of the different ways that our society is uh, breaking in different parts. I think Rinpoche's underlying message about empathy and compassion and also about connecting first to yourself and then to others is extremely important in this moment. And Rinpoche says the desire to improve ourselves and achieve peace can be helped by the right surroundings. To bring out that capacity to the maximum level, we have to have the environment for it to grow. The environment is here, right here. That's what we are trying to create for, not for one person, not for just a group of people, it's for the whole humanity, for everyone. So everyone is welcome here. And it's a place for reflection on some of the challenges of modern life. The main message from the center is the balance. Mind-body balance, your spiritual and material balance, work-family balance, things like that. And those things are something that we will learn from the center. So I'm very excited excited for an unhurried discussion and study and meditation at the Miller Epicenter in Cragsmoor, New York. to thank to those who helped and those who will be helping in the future. Thank you very much.